Hi, Mike Smith here. Today I thought I'd uh, demonstrate how to test your internet speed, both download and upload. And the upload speed is important if you are uploading materials to your website, such as uh, large images and, in my, as in my case, video. It makes a big difference to how long a large file uploads. So what I'm going to do to demonstrate this is use a website called speedtest.net. And I've got that open in three different tabs here, and I'm going to test three connections that I have available to me here. Firstly, my home ADSL 2 connection, which is working over a Telstra phone line. Um, a 3G Telstra modem, it's a slightly older unit, running off the 3G cell network. And a 4G Telstra smartphone, which is a late model smartphone. All of these are connected to my MacBook Pro laptop via Wi-Fi and they're all about the same distance, quite close. So um, the only difference in performance ought to be the different connection methods here. Okay, so let's get started. So first we're going to connect uh, to the ADSL2 uh, Wi-Fi connection, and in fact I'm already connected to that there. Okay, so the idea here is you go to this website and then just press begin the test. And you'll see it running there. Okay, so I'm getting about five megabytes, megabits per second download. That's reasonable, that's pretty standard. Although on an ADSL2 line, it ought to be faster than that. So it samples that for a little while, and then it begins the upload speed test. And as you can see, my upload speed is pretty woeful on my landline. So it's going to take um, possibly an hour or so to upload a typical 10-minute um, video to YouTube. Okay, and there are the results. A ping of 24 milliseconds, the download speed of about 5 megabits per second, not very good. Upload speed is uh, 0.76 megabits per second. That's as good as I've ever seen it on my landline, and it's pretty disappointing. Okay, so that is the um, the first test done. Okay, so before we uh, test the other two connections, let's just see what we should have expected on an ADSL line. Now, I've got a, 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 um, a Telstra landline and a TPG ADSL2 connection here. So typically on uh, an ADSL2 connection, you'd be looking at you know, at advertised speeds of 20 megabits per second. Yep. Um, having a look at the Telstra offering, um, that would be, uh, okay, cable up to 30 megabits, ADSL 2, 20 megabits, ADSL 1, the old version, 8 megabit, me megabits per second, and the NBN's up to 25 megabits bits per second. We can't get NBN where we are here, so ADSL 2 or maybe cable. And I was thinking about going to cable. But as you can see, the real life um, figures are something less than what's advertised. So advertised 80, 20, uh, sorry, 20 megabits per second um, for ADSL 2, and I'm getting about a quarter of that. And I think that's probably um, typical. You get about a quarter of what's advertised. That's in my experience anyway. Okay, now let's uh, go to our, uh, the first of our modems. Um, the, the smartphone is effectively also a modem. So what we're talking about here is using the mobile telephone network operating at either 3G or 4, 4G speeds um, and uh, using, using that as our, as our main internet connection. Um, okay, so firstly the Telstra 3G modem. So I'm just going to change my connection to the 3G modem. Okay, so that's connected to 3G modem now. And I can begin this test. Okay, and immediately you can see a faster download speed, something over 10 or maybe 10 megabits per second there. It's creeping down again now. Possibly not getting the best signal 
on that modem right now. Okay, so 6.78. Now it's going to test upload. And as you can see, the upload speed is a good deal faster than the ADSL. About two, two and a half. Okay, and those are the results. 6.78, sorry, and uh, 2.61. Just going back to the other one here. So 5.16 and 0.76. So for the download speed, it doesn't make a big deal of difference, but the upload speed is significantly faster, you know, by a factor of, well, nearly four. And that would make a big difference, you know. If a, if a file is going to take you an hour to upload, as compared to 15 minutes, well, that will, that will definitely um, have an impact on how easy it is to do. Okay, so that is the 3G modem. Okay, let's try the next one. Okay, so next we'll try the 4G uh, smartphone, which would effectively be the same as a, a modem, except it's operating on that 4G network. So I'm going to change over to my smartphone. Okay, so that's connected. Open up this other tab and begin the test. Okay, and as you can see, it's significantly faster download. It might even get up to 20 megabits per second. So that's looking a lot happier there. 19.1 megabits per second. And, and for the upload, okay, it's struggling a little bit there. 2.16, 2.2, 2 .2. Okay, so there are our results, 19 and 2.28, 3G, um, 6.78 and 2.6, so the 3G has got slightly faster upload speed at the moment, and I'm going to address that, why that might be in just a moment, and remember the um, um, the, the landline ADSL was 5 and 0.76, not very good. Okay, so if we compare um, the two uh, modem-based connections, um, 4G down, download speed is significantly faster, and the upload speeds, well, they were about the same. But I'm a bit surprised by this figure because it has been a lot faster. And, um, and I'll just discuss why that might be, and I might even run this test again in a moment. Okay, so we've seen something curious here. Uh, now, as expected, the, um, the 4G download speed is faster than the 3G download speed, but the 3G upload speed is slightly faster than the 4G upload speed. And I have noticed at other times that the 4G upload speed is much faster than what we see here. So why would that be? Okay, well this boils down to um, what happens um, with internet connections. So let's just look at the, um, the three different varieties that we've been testing here. Firstly ADSL, 3G and 4G. Now using the cell phone network for data is inherently inefficient because it's wireless. You know, and so compared to physical connections such as cables, wires, optical fibre, the cell phone ought to be slower than ADSL. But it isn't. And the reason is because so many people are using ADSL. And um, because of the way the infrastructure uh, bottlenecks through the exchanges, um, ADSL is actually not very fast in Australia. Cable internet is a little faster simply because fewer people use it, not because necessarily the technology is better, although it is a little better. And the reason cable internet is a bit better is because it's not trying to do double duty. ADSL operates over phone lines, and of course they're used for telephone calls, but cable internet isn't. And there may be other options as well, such as um, internet through your uh, Foxtel uh, or pay TV, but that's effectively cable as well. It's a dedicated piece of wire coming into your home. So we would expect cable and ADSL to be faster than a cell phone, but that's not what we see. 
Okay, um, so cell phones networks also suffer contention. What we mean by contention is multiple people using them at the same time. But cell phone networks, because of their design, have got less capacity. So even just using them for telephones um, can be limited. And you see this when you have large groups of people together, such as at major rock concerts. Nobody can get out on their phones because that particular cell, um, cell phone tower or maybe the, the, the towers within range of that, of that event, uh, are overloaded. They can only handle so many calls coming in and out at the same time. So because of that inherent capacity limitation, the performance uh, for data using cell phone networks tends to vary a lot, according to you know, how many people are using their phones, as well as how many people are using um, the data connections on those cell phones. So that's comparing ADSL to the cell phone networks. Okay, that was a, a, a simplified explanation, but, but having explained all of that, now it may be easier to understand why the 3G upload speed happened to be faster than the 4G upload speed. And that could be, and probably most likely is, simply because this 3G and the 4G are actually physically different networks. It's not just a, a turbocharged version or a higher speed version of one over the other. It's a different network. And so if you noticed your phone changing over between 3G and 4G, depending on you know, where you are in proximity to the, the telephone towers, um, you'll notice that your, your phone actually disconnects. And it's disconnecting and reconnecting when it changes from 3G to 4G and vice versa. So it's a different network. Now, most people these days on their smartphones are using 4G. So the contention is actually higher on the 4G network. So when I first started playing with 4G modems, um, the, the performance was much better. But now, of course, most many people have 4G smartphones. But of course, not many people are using their 4G smartphones for uploading. Um, so we're still getting pretty reasonable upload speeds on a 4G wireless or so wireless connection. The 3G is even faster because even fewer people are using 3G for uploading. So you would expect that if someone has a smartphone and they're using it for internet access, they're probably going to be using um, or trying to use a 4G connection. And also, not many people are using the their mobile phone for uploading video, for example. So the, about the, the amount of capacity available for upload is less loaded for both 3G and 4G, but in fact, even less for 3G. So in that, in that roundabout way, it turns out that my older 3G um, Wi-Fi modem is actually better for uploading. So, so that gives you uh, a comparison of performance for internet connection um, over ADSL, 3G and 4G. Of course, what we really want is that NBN to be connected so that then we can have the benefit of the increased capacity of fiber optics. Okay, thanks very much for listening.